Okay, now I need to go talk to the lady. Uh, they said she would be in the inn. Let's go see. have to go check some more houses. Apparently doesn't want to talk much. He's a strong, silent type. Alright, no bug. What's up, man? Why you gotta keep it so dark in here? What? How do you get past the guards? Guards? What guards? Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Hey man, I'm just looking for some information. I mean you no harm. We'll just see about that. You come any closer and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. Old stick is feeling mighty ornery this day. Alrighty, man. You, you keep your sticky to yourself. You sure now? It's kind of hard to hear you. <laughs> you said you're gonna stick me with your sticky. Okay, okay. Just speak up a little. But not so much that they hear you. They got people everywhere, always listening. Um, so what's up with the town? No work? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the Chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a Chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. <laughs> yes, I, I, sorry, Nobark, but, um, no. That was a night can with Nightkin with the minigun, not a automatic wielding chupacabra. Oh. Alright, man. Well, do you know anything else about this chupacabra while we're out on this? I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell, anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. You do not have to worry, no Mark. I took care of the chupacabra. Um, anything else interesting happening around here? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. So, if it's not ghouls, who is it? Ghosts. Kami ghosts, who don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets, 
so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I've seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. Interesting, interesting, no bark. So, why do they call you no bark? Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say has got bite, because it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull, and I know what I seen. That does explain a lot. So, have you seen a dude wearing a checkered coat that's not a chupacabra and not a commie ghost? Sure have. Camouflage, that coat was. Trying to hide from extraterrestrials what can only see in black and white checkers. <laughs> but they're not fooled, because he forgot to put checkers on his face. I told him so, and he seemed to take it to heart. They stayed here a night, and was up by the dinosaur, talking to the sniper fellow with the mustache a couple of times. Alright, I know where to go then. And, uh, see you later, man. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Oh, please, please, tell them that we never spoke, because I don't want anybody to know I talked to you. I would so love to add a dinky souvenir to my collection. All right, Willow. You want a dinky? You'll get a dinky. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Sneak up on you? I had to open a door, dude. I think you better leave. I don't have friends here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. True dad. I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. <laughs> stranger danger. I said it was a start. This town. Nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. Why is that? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. So, you're gonna try and find her? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. So it's a him, okay. I'll, I'll look around, man. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. I can handle the Legion. Hey, how do you know if your wife is really dead? I know, alright. That's all you need to know. If 
fine. See you later. Yeah. Do you need something? Hey, I got that dink you wanted. Ooh, thanks. That is a quality collectible. I am stashing that somewhere safe. Huzzah. You? Are you there? Are you here for the delivery job? Come closer, please. Alright. Yes, I recognize you. A regular courier would suffice, but you... Well, this is fortuitous. You're a person of many parts, aren't you? I heard you cheated death. Left quite a mark around here. Nothing like being dug out of a shallow grave to give you perspective, eh? Um, how do you know that, man? All this time. Everything you've done. Your choices. The people you've killed. You can't control that story. You may not realize it, but you're becoming the stuff of legend. Whether you like it or not, if not for my infirm condition, I'd be apt to hear your take on things. You have made your choices, seen the consequences. I did much the same long ago in another life. I am still paying for those choices. Couriers have a special role, one of trust. I hope you will maintain that fidelity, as this delivery, it's... I can't put this off any longer. I want you to deliver a package to a man in Westside. His name is Bradley. In exchange, I will pay you five hundred caps, all up front. Consider it a gesture of goodwill and trust. Is the proposal satisfactory? Sure, I'll take your caps. As I expected, you are perfect for the job. Deliver this letter and key to Bradley, a mercenary under the employ of the West Side Militia. Once the letter is delivered, you are free of any responsibility to me. However, if you elect to assist Bradley, I will be in your debt. I hope this will be an end to things. A just settlement. Good luck, courier. I would like to be alone now. Ah, I can't shoot an old man. I can steal from an old man, though, if I find anything worth stealing. Door number two. 
What's going on, man? Dude, you're table dancing. And who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. So... What do you protect the town from? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Those aren't ghouls, they're comedy ghosts. And, uh, who's, who's that other dude up there? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. What happened? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. So, what did you and his wife argue about? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas, me and my cousins. We were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Uh, so, did you get rid of her, or what? Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. So, if you didn't do it, who did? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable, and she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. So, what about that gang? Uh, were you tough? Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. The cons are all right, man. So, how was it being with the NCR? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? So, yeah, why aren't you in there now, then? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. What happened at Bitter Springs, dude? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. This wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Alrighty, so, uh, enough about you. I'm looking for a dude wearing a checkered, uh, coat suit thing. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Um, I want to kill him. Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Mm, what do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Alrighty, uh, why don't you kill the commie ghosts? I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. So, you want me to kill the commie ghosts? 
Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Alrighty, I'll kill them all. It'd mean a lot to me. Alright, man. See you later. Yeah, see ya. Hey there. Jenny? Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Yeah, well, you know, I'm looking for Boone's wife. What can you tell me about her? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Yeah, what's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Yeah. Seems kind of fishy, Jenny. Your story doesn't match the rest. Um, anyway, you got a room I can rent? I can't see as how I'd charge you after the generous things you've done for the town. The room's on me. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. Watch out for strangers. Yeah, there's strangers everywhere. Remember, I got shot to the head. Doc fixed me up with the new whatever. Told me that uh, all he had for vocal cords was this powder ganger that he shot trying to steal his stuff from behind his house. And since mine got crushed by dirt... He gave it to me, so, yeah, my beautiful body is matched with a beautiful man voice now. Notice something fishy about Jenny. I think I'm gonna look around. A lot of caps there. Ooh. Safes are great places to hide sneaky stuff. A uh, bill of sale. I wonder what that's all about. to ownership and sale of the slave oh my goodness that oh man okay so Jenny clearly sold Boone's wife 
I got a bullet I want you to meet, Jenny. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Ah, why don't you come with me? Okay, if that's what you think. Yeah, um, I got some interesting things to show you out here. You guys are getting an early start on the road. Don't mind me, I just need to, uh, change my, my hat. Oh, whoops, what happened to your face, Jenny? Oh, you're dead. Dead. Yeah, you deserve that. Alrighty, let's go talk to Boone. That's it then. How did you know? I found a bill of sale in her safe. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. Alright, man. See you later. Yeah. take a nap in my room. All of this blood and shooting is fun, but it's time for a rest.